Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. I always pray for your long life and happiness. I strive to provide you with the latest and most authentic information about the Iraqi currency, so stay connected with me and my channel. Before we start the video, I have a request, please watch this video till the end, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. The Central Bank of Iraq has unveiled the third phase of its ambitious monetary reform, which is set to reshape the country's financial and escape. This phase is packed with crucial changes, and we'll break down the seven key parts of this strategic plan. First, let's talk about the ability to issue medium and long term securities. This move is designed to stabilize and deepen the financial markets in Iraq. By offering these securities, the central bank aims to provide more investment opportunities for both domestic and international investors. It's a step towards creating a more robust and diversified financial market, which is essential for economic growth. Next, the increase in gold reserves is a significant part of this phase. Gold has always been a safe haven asset, and by increasing its reserves, Iraq is looking to bolster its economic stability. This move can provide a buffer against economic shocks and enhance the country's creditworthiness. It's a classic strategy used by central banks worldwide to ensure financial security. Another critical aspect of this reform is the introduction of new high quality currency issuance. This isn't just about printing more money it's about improving the overall quality and security of the currency in circulation. High quality currency reduces the risk of counterfeiting and increases public confidence in the monetary system. It's a move that reflects the central bank's commitment to maintaining a secure and reliable financial environment. In addition to these measures, the strategic plan includes efforts to modernize the banking sector. This involves upgrading technological infrastructure and enhancing regulatory frameworks to ensure the banking system is more resilient and efficient. By modernizing the banking sector, Iraq aims to facilitate smoother transactions, improve customer service, and ultimately boost economic activity. The plan also emphasizes the importance of financial inclusion. This means making financial services accessible to a broader segment of the population, including those in rural and underserved areas. Financial inclusion is crucial for economic development as it allows more people to participate in the economy, save money, access credit, and invest in their future. Furthermore, the central bank is focusing on improving monetary policy tools. This includes better management of interest rates and inflation which are critical for maintaining economic stability. By refining these tools, the central bank aims to create a more predictable economic environment, which is vital for attracting investment and fostering growth. Lastly, the strategic plan highlights the need for enhanced transparency and communication. The central bank is committed to providing clear and timely information about its policies and actions. Transparency builds trust and confidence among investors, businesses, and the general public, which is essential for a healthy financial system. In conclusion, the third phase of Iraq's monetary reform is a comprehensive and ambitious plan that aims to transform the country's financial system. From issuing medium and long term securities and increasing gold reserves to modernizing the banking sector and enhancing financial inclusion, these measures are designed to create a more stable, inclusive, and resilient economy. It's an exciting time for Iraq as these reforms have the potential to drive significant economic growth and development. Stay tuned for more updates on this topic, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the latest in financial news and analysis. Thanks for watching.